Next, we will develop a procedure to create an interval estimate of the unknown population mean with a positive confidence using a single random observation. Let's assume now that the average of Bobert's commutes is unknown. That is, x is normally distributed with the unknown mean and given standard deviation of 2 minutes. Instead of trying to predict today's commute, we can simply measure it. So let's assume that today's commute was 24 minutes. Can we estimate the unknown mean commute time with 95% confidence? By the empirical rule, the probability of x being within two standard deviations from the mu is equal to 95%. Therefore, we are 95% confident that the random observation xi is within two sigma from mu. But if xi is within two sigmas from mu, that means that mu is within two sigmas from xi, which is equivalent in this case to mu is within four minutes from 24, which is equivalent to saying that mu is between 20 and 28 minutes. As a result, we obtained a 95% confidence interval for the unknown mean commute time based on a single random observation. Next, we are going to construct an interval estimate with a 90% confidence. By the generalized empirical rule for alpha equals to 0.10, we get the probability of a random observation x to be within 1.65 sigmas from mu equal to 90%. This means that we are 90% confident that a random observation xi is within 1.65 sigmas from mu. But if xi is within 1.65 sigmas from mu, that means mu is within 1.65 sigmas away from xi. With given numbers, this implies that the mu is within 3.30 from 24, which implies that mu is between 20.70 and 27.30. As a result, we obtained a 90% confidence interval for the unknown mean commute time based on a single random observation. Next, we are going to introduce some vocabulary. An interval estimate is a range of numbers that we think contains the unknown parameter. A confidence level is the confidence that we have that the interval estimate actually contains the parameter. A confidence interval is a way to estimate the parameter using an interval estimate along with some confidence level. Let's recall the properties of an interval. An interval has the center, the radius, and the left and right boundaries. When constructing an interval, it is common to use a point estimate as the center. The radius is usually called the margin of error, and the boundaries are referred to as lower and upper bounds. In our example, the point estimate is a single random observation xi. The margin of error can be found using the provided formula, and the boundaries can be founded by adding and subtracting the margin of error from and to the point estimate. Note that in this context, the values negative z sub alpha over 2 and z sub alpha over 2 are referred to as the left and the right critical values. In general, to construct an interval means to find its boundaries. To summarize the procedure, I will fill out the following template. The unknown parameter in our problem was mu, the average commute time of Borbert. The point estimate that we used was xi equals 24, which was today's commute time. The confidence level of the point estimate is 0%. The new confidence level was set to be 90%. Therefore, alpha must be chosen to be 0 
so 1 minus alpha times 100% is equal to the desired confidence level. In this case, alpha over 2 is 0 0.05, and z sub alpha over 2 is z sub 0 0.05, which is equal to 1.65. Then the margin of error, according to the formula, is 2.30, and we can compute the lower bound by subtracting the margin of error from the point estimate and obtaining 21.70. And we get the upper bound by adding the margin of error to the point estimate and getting 26.30. The following statement is the interpretation of the results. We are 90% confident that the average commute time is between 21.7 and 26.3 minutes. Here you can see the summary of the procedure for constructing a confidence interval from a single random observation with any confidence level, along with its interpretation. So far we have developed a procedure to create with a positive confidence and interval estimate of the unknown population mean using a single random observation.